Hello, you've reached Chris's YouTube channel, and today I'm going to show you how to change the oil on a Briggs and Stratton lawnmower. And uh, of course, this varies um, from lawnmower to lawnmower, but it's pretty much similar process. It's very easy. It should take you about as long as this video because you know I'm gonna do it, of course. But anyway, the, all you're going to need is some gloves, let's see what else, some Briggs & Stratton, SAE30 small engine oil, and um, you know, just, that's all you're going to need, and maybe a 3 8 with a 3 inch extension. A 3 8 ratchet with a 3 8 extension, and if you want to change your air filter, you're just gonna need a screwdriver. Let's see, now uh, I'll show you the air filter first. I'm gonna just check it. Let's see, uh, okay, there. So you got the screw, one screw holds it on. Now, I'm not gonna change mine, I'm just gonna show you how easy it is. Well, actually, I am going to change it, but I, I'm going to change it later. I got one. So mine, yeah, mine's pretty messed up, so I'm going to go ahead and change it. I'm going to leave that there. You see, there's just one screw. You screw it back in. Boom. I'm going to change that. But now I'm going to just show you where you, what you're going to do here. So you just turn your lawnmower kind of at an angle. Better if you chalk up the wheel on something. So, my situation. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna try to do this. Uh, I might have to chalk the wheel up so it doesn't look like my. Alright, maybe you don't need this. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, maybe you don't you don't need the three three inch extension. I just found that out. So you can use, but you could use your 3 8 extension here to finish unscrewing it once you get it started. And that's it. Okay, then you're going to need like an old sandwich container you're just going to throw away. And you finish unscrewing the plug. And now you let the oil drain make sure it's draining in the you know in the sandwich container you let the oil drain for a few minutes maybe like I don't know five minutes my situation probably I don't think it has a lot of oil in there but it's still draining so it should only take like two minutes and you're gonna drain the oil, of course. Then, meantime, put your air filter on there. Get your oil ready, put back in. And you put the plug back in. So that's pretty much it. Go grab my air filter. And I'll be right back. Alright, boom. Got a brand new air filter. It's like that. And you just put it in face down like you took it out. And you screw it back on. And 
That should be good for the air filter. Let's check and see if the oil is done draining. I think it's done, but I gotta check. Oh yeah, it's finished. Okay. So after you get your oil drained, take it, you put the plug back in, and you can put your, your side, your uh, extension makes it easier to put on, but depending on whether or not, or actually it's easier to start it with the extension than it is with the ratchet. Okay, and then after you do that, you snug it. You don't want to over tighten this. That's a horrible idea. But you just kind of give it a little snug. Let's see if I could go the right way. Alright, so now it's snug, and then you go about one quarter of a turn. And maybe if you want to double check, go another quarter. That's it. Now you put the oil back in. And you can see my oil. See, my oil was pretty low and it was very dirty. Now, if you're not careful, that's why it's good to check your oil. If you're not careful, you could blow your engine like that, you know. That's one of the most important things taking care of any small engine is to make sure you get or any engine at all. Make sure it has the proper oil level. And you don't want it overfilled or underfilled or whatever. So I don't really know how much this uses. I probably should have looked it up. But I don't know how big this is. Let's see. So I'm just gonna use maybe. Oh, what is it? About four ounces or five ounces or something. And then I'm gonna check it. So after you put a little oil in there, you wanna check it. You wanna keep checking it. Okay, so I checked it, it looked okay, but I'm gonna let it settle down for a second. You always wanna check it more than once. And the first time, you might not get an accurate reading. First time, just give you an idea of what's in there. Kinda hard to tell. Brand new oil like that, very hard to tell. Let me check it one more time. So yeah, uh, it looks like the minimum, the minimum amount of oil in there. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start it up for a second and let it let it uh, circulate around in there and uh, let it cool down, settle back down, and then I'm going to check it again. Alright. So yeah, I just want to start it. So yeah, like I understand, taking a long time to check the oil, but this is the most important step right here. All the other steps, everybody pretty much knows, but this is the most important step. Make sure you got a le the right oil level in the lawnmower. So you want to check it, you want to do whatever it takes. When you use a new oil. 
See now, now it looks low. See how I started it? I guess it circulated the oil. Now it looks really low. So I'm going to add another two, two ounces. Now you don't want to run your engine for a long time with low oil. That's going to ruin your engine. You could do it like for a second like I just did. As long as you have some oil in there. But if you if it's not completely full the first time and it's just a little low, then you'll be alright. So I added a little extra oil. Now I wiped it really clean, very clean. You try not to touch the wall of the oil stick order. Oil tube. And then uh pull it back up. All right. So now it's full again. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna start the lawnmower, then I'm gonna let the oil go back down and check it again. Uh, oh, the air phones. Okay. Now, a lot of people already know how to change their oil and check their oil. But like I said before, this is the most important part. Making sure you have the right level. And it can be very tricky if you're not very... Uh... Alright, so it's full now. Actually, I probably overfilled it just a little, like probably one ounce over full, but... It's full now. I'm going to check it one more time. Okay, so you saw how the first time I checked it, it was it looked okay. But when I kept being persistent about it, and I started the engine up, the level dropped. See, now it dropped again. See that? You got to be really persistent. It, it actually just dropped again. But, uh, it just takes a minute for the oil to sit, sit down at the bottom where it's supposed to be. Yeah, okay, so even if you gotta do this 10 times, 20 times, make sure you get this step right. Now it looks like full. <laughs> okay, well, I can see there's a dry spot on a stick kind of towards the bottom. I must say it probably needs a little bit more. But let me just check it one more time. I think we were supposed to actually look at the these two empty holes, I don't know for sure, but Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's still a little low. See that persistent pays off. It's definitely low. Now what it is, is when you look, sometimes at the top you might see, it looks like they have oil on the top of this stick, but, but uh, the, the level's still a little low right there. Like I said, if it takes 20 times, do it 20 times. But make sure you get the right amount of oil in here. Alright, I'm just gonna add like one ounce and see what happens. Alrighty. Okay, I got the stick nice and clean. Alright, try to get straight up. 
Okay. It's very hard to tell now because now you got oil running down the side of the, the dipstick tube. It takes a few seconds for that to clear out. So it just gets complicated trying to see, especially with the clean oil. You got clean oil on here. I think it's full, but I'm going to keep being persistent because I want to make sure I got the right level. And this time, I can see the little hole there has the oil inside of the hole. And I think that's what you're really looking for. You see they got, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but you, oh, I'm dripping on my computer. See the little holes, the two little holes right there? So the bottom hole, it actually has oil inside of that hole. I don't know if you can see that. The top hole does not have oil inside the hole. And you don't want oil really inside of the top hole. Because that means it's overfilled. You want the oil in the bottom hole but not the top hole. So we're going to try checking it a couple more times. Make sure we got the proper level of oil in the engine. Right. So, pull it out again. And yeah, so the level looks 100% this time. It looks great. I'm going to check it again just to be sure. Actually, I'm going to start it. And then I'll check it one more time. Or maybe one. I'm going to start it one more time and then I'll check it a few more times. I don't think you need to start it. But if there's no oil filter on here. On a car, you need to start it. But there's no oil filter. Okay, so like when you're changing your oil on a car, of course you know you have to check. You have to start the car because to get a good reading because the oil filter, if you change your oil filter, which you should, then you're going to suck up all the oil into the filter. Okay. So there we have it. Yeah. Okay, so it's good but it's, it's it's on the low side of good but it's good you know it's not empty and after that I'm pretty much assured that this engine has the right amount of oil in there because you can see that bottom that bottom hole is filled up it's always like you can see the oil in the bottom hole but it's not in the top hole and that's what you want. And that's it. It's full. So anyway, hope you liked the video. Now you know the most important step to checking your oil is to make sure that it's got the right amount of to change in your oil is to make sure you got the right amount of oil in there. That's the most important step. So just make sure. That's right, and you won't have any problems changing your own oil. Thanks for watching.